Grassroots are the beginnings, the beginnings of, um, of the game. Uh, it's the start, it's where the seed lays for, for what's to grow. And for me, grassroots football is, is how the young players fall in love with the game and that starts to whet their appetite for what lies ahead. Grassroots is the, is the foundation right, um, of any soccer player. It's got to have a lot of element of fun. Um, it's, it's bridging you know, the communities together and, and giving a lot of players a start in the game. That's where they get the foundation and the, the basic skills so that they can move forward and progress with their, their game. And uh, if they don't have those basic skills, which they learn at younger ages, it's going to be hard for them to pr pr progress up the uh, elite pathway. Uh, and I think, you know, the clubs in Calgary, um, like your Foothills, Blizzard, Southwest, McKenzie United and so forth, uh, do a great job of, you know, giving the kids the passion and an opp opportunity to play. I really feel that we're entering a golden era for Canadian football. Because of the development of the Canadian Premier League now, there's just, numerically, there's more opportunities for young Canadian players to, to play. It's changed. I think a lot of players now aspire to be a professional player, first and foremost. And why not do it in your own city? Um, you know, you shouldn't have to move at 13, 14, 15 years of age, whether it be to Europe or other cities in, in, in this country. Uh, I think the fact that you can stay at home uh, at those tender ages and, and work towards a professional contract and, you know, CPL is also there as, uh, as not only a professional environment, but also a springboard to maybe playing even higher in, in the top leagues, perhaps in Europe or even the MLS as an example. Each city now should be putting players in the professional game and we've put a few young Calgarians in the professional game already and uh, players like Vic Vittori who played first year, um, given that opportunity to, to take that jump. Um, and part of my role now is, is to ensure through Foothills in particular that these players get opportunities at, at these levels from 16, 17, 18 and then from there you know hopefully advance into the professional game because Calvary wants local players, um, you know, and, and our mandate is to help produce those local players for the city to, to enjoy. Now that we have professional clubs in each city, there's, there's players for, for the young kids to look up to and go and see and emulate now um, in their local markets instead of having to look at TV or, or beyond. So uh, they've got that opportunity that they can see right in front of them. So now that opportunity is here for them, we'll be able to create more players and. Um, you're already seeing that with even the MLS clubs and now with the CPL it's going to be even more so. Obviously the grassroots system here in Calgary is about getting all them communities together and, and building a soccer community uh, throughout the city. And I think if we can start connecting those dots between grassroots, development leagues and the youth sports and then professional leagues, and I think if, if we do that both on the men's and the women's, I think this will be a nation that Beyond the 2026 World Cup, when the, when the world comes through our shores, we'll keep progressing and the ripple effect will, will transcend for years. Hello everybody, my name is Victor Latouri, I'm 19, I play for Calgary FC and I'm Canadian and Sudanese. Growing up I played for a club called Calgary Northside, CNS. Um, I played there since I was 8, organized 8 and then all the way until I was 17. And then when I was 17 I moved to Foothills for one season. And then from Foothills, Tommy seen me from there and brought me into Calvary. Grassroots to me means giving young players an opportunity to play, whether it be just for fun or if they want to go professional. Ever since I was around five to 10, like I just always loved soccer, gave me an opportunity and it just pushed me and pursued me to play professional now. Growing up, just always enjoy the game, always have fun. When I was at CNS, I always just enjoyed it, played with my friends and just see where it takes you, honestly. My name is Ethan Keane. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. I'm 19 years old. I started out at uh, MSB United, moved to Calgary West Soccer Club, and then about U15, came to Calgary Foothills. And um, I think the highlight of that was winning the uh, U17 National Championships with Foothills. Hopefully, in two or three years, be able to sign a professional contract, maybe here at home, and just being able to play in front of fans and following my dream of being a professional soccer player. Grassroots, I feel like it's just kind of the building blocks for um, youth soccer, especially here in Canada. Like I was a grassroots player one time, it's really just learning to love the game. I think that's where um, young players really start to find their passion for it. I mean, with the CPL now, me and Victor and Caden were able to join with the Cavalry, and I think that's huge for all of us. Things like that, just being able to have something to look forward to and strive towards here in Canada is really important. 
I'm Caden Rogozinski. I'm 19 years old and I'm a center back from Calgary, Alberta. I've been with Foothills since day one. Well, right now I'm at Mount Royal University, hoping to get drafted into one of the CPL teams and then from there on progress, get my name out there and hopefully uh, sign a professional contract. With the CPL going on now, there's, there's so many opportunities for young aspiring athletes to make that next step and to go pro and uh, go forward with their dream of becoming a professional soccer player. There's been a ton of coaches that have helped me along the way, but a few that I'd for sure like to mention would be Jay Wielden and uh, Leon Hapgood, because they've been my coaches for the longest, so they've, they've uh, mentored me a lot and gave me a lot of good advice and helped me develop as a player. Yeah, honestly, I've learned so much from being here so far. I've only, it's been over a month and a, a bit now. Players around are always motivating me to do better and giving me tips and tricks and whatnot, so I learn a lot, especially being one of the younger players here and being around the older players, it, it helps a lot. I think the most important now is the situation where we find ourselves in with the COVID-19 pandemic where, you know, kids have lost a lot of soccer and sports and connection. Um, whenever we return back to the field in the grassroots, make it about fun. Uh, for every coach that's out there, you know, make it about playing the game and not trying to structure and think they've missed all this. Just make it about fun first because you've got to reignite that love that the kids have had and that the kids have missed it and just make it fun again.